Hello. Hi, Mario. Are you back home? Yes. Nun Aleph, 51. Mm -hmm. Lo, the reason why there's a tour for bore less than 10 is Mishun de Lesbe Hevla. That's according to Rav, who says that a boar kills through Hevel. But there is chavata. There is trauma, and that's why you have to worry that the animal is a trefa. Yahachi, it says, Im huzak bo chayim. If it got damaged, not dead, but just damaged, you're chayim. Well, how can you have damage? How less they have? You just said there's no heaven. Armale ain't able to misa, but ye shevel linazikin. There isn't able to kill it, but there's able to do damage. Eisve. Besa skila. When you kill somebody with skila, you brought him to a place to push him off, two stories high, two, meaning two of his height. The Tony Allah, the Koma So it's three. So Khan Sholosh. Isa Kadaita Shiesh Havata, the Pokos Masara. If there's a Havamina that there's damage of Havata less than 10 Tvachim, Lamali Kulai, why do you have to bring him, bring him up to so, uh, such a height? Well, Ula Tamech, maybe Nasara. Maybe just do 10 Tvachim. Why do we do two Komos? So, Elek Rav Nachman. Rav Rav Nachman, Rav Rav Vua, Makrov, Haftalecha, Kamocha. Bror lo misa yafe. You don't want him to suffer. So, by pushing him off a very high, he's going to he's gonna be killed right away. Yachi nikve tfei, make it higher. So, mishum de minvul. But then, the body will become all ugly. And that's not a misa yafe. Basically, it says you have to bring, you have to dig a, a market, a fence, the roof of your huts, so that people wouldn't die if they fall off the roof. It's from the roof, not inside. Kate. Let's say the Rosh Hashanah is elevated, higher than the house of Sarat Tvachim, and you didn't build a maket. The nafal mi tochal tochal. It fell from the Rosh Hashanah to the bias potter because it didn't fall from the house. But amuka bimenu asarat Tvachim. If the Rosh Hashanah was deep, by ten Tvachim deeper than the house, the nafal mi tochal tochal chay. If there's trauma, even less than ten tefachim, lamali asar. Then why, by the market, you need ten tefachim? Armelis Rav Nachman answered, "Shiny, a market is different because bias. Pachos masar love bias. If it's less than ten tefachim, it's not called a bias. Ihachi, if the din of market depends on." Criteria that consider the place a house. Ashtanami. If the bias was taller than Rosh Hashanah by 10, that's the external dimension. Asara, Dalmine, Pikramaziva, the roof and the floor makes it less. So then. Distance from the top to the bottom is not something. You dug, deepened the house so there would be ten fach. Says Ravi Yachi, even when there's no external ten fachim, but you might have inside a sorak going to chak you, you sort of dug a hole in the 
house inside, it's also 10. Ella, so all these answers we reject. Why then did Rav Nachman trafe up the cow that fell into a lake of six tfachim? Davi Migavoy Asara. No, Ella, Hainu Tamid Rav Nachman Sovar. From the stomach to the ground, if you measured for a cow, it's four tfachim. And then Arisa did loy, kamahavi. How much was the lake? Six. So you add four and six, it fell ten. It damaged its limbs to make it a trade for, because it fell 10. Elamastis and Diktoni, our mission that said, ma boar, shehu kidei lahamis, a boar, a killing boar is a sort of fucking, av kol sheyesh po kidei lahamis a sort of fucking. So, b'shi sanami sagi. Well, here, six fucking is enough. Amri, masnisen de igdu le boar. That's, it fell into a boar. So there you need at least 10. When it fell into the lake, which was six, along with the four talking from the stomach to the ground, then you have ten. Mishnah. Bor shel shnei shutafim. Bor that belongs to partners. That was open. Over a lavarishon v'lochiso. The first partner walks by and doesn't cover it, and then asheni v'lochiso. Asheni chayiv. It's the second one who didn't cover is going to be chayv in the damages. Amri, How do you create a bore of partners? Where if a person has his own Rishusayachid, digs a bore there, and then he gives over the Rishusayachid to the Rabbim. Mishkach asla, the chotzer shall shneim. Two partners own a chotzer. Ubor shall shneim. They both own the bor. Vifkiru rishus and lo ifkiru bor. They were mafkir the rishus, but not the bor. So it's a bor of shutafim. Ela e sviralo, bor rishus or potter. We had a machlokas yesterday. Then held if you dig a bor in your rishus, your potter. So echi mishkachas the chayiv aleh. When will you have? An example of a bore of partners that you'd be high, Bishus Arabim. Right? Bishus Arabim bore Shoshne Shutafim Ek Mishkach Aslo. Idish Avu Shliach Tarvayu. Let's say they both appointed a Shaliach. The Amri Lane, they say to the Shaliach, Zil Korilon, the Azul Korluhu. They appointed a Shaliach together, dig us a bore. He went and dug it. So there's no Chiyuv. He, the guy who dug it, gets the Aver, not him. If one of the partners dug a five tefach bore, and the other one deepened it to five, so the first guy is if he doesn't exist, because he dug a bore five, which there's no achrayas for that. Hanicha le Rebbe on Nizokin. Rebbe is mechay of damage pain. Mishkach aslo. But the Rebbe Misa. But if an, somebody died, an animal died in the board. Well, Rabban and Ben le Misa Ben le Nizokin. Hechish mishkach aslo. How would you have a board of partners where there would be a chiyuv? Am Rav Yochanan tigon. In one action, they dug together the last tefach and made it from nine to ten. Then the boar becomes both of them. Now, we mentioned the machlokes 
Rabbi and Rabbonon. My Rabbi Rabbonon. The Tanya. Echad achoy for bor tisha. Uba acher vishlim elasor. Somebody dug a bore of nine, and then another guy came and dug it to ten. Ha'akron chayiv. For Misa and Ezekiel. Rabbi Yoimer, Achar, Achroin, Misa. Now it's a killing boar. So he agrees with that. But, <laughs> but for damage payments, they both split it. My time at Rabbonon. Amr Krok, Yiftach, Ishbor, Kiichre, Ishbor. Imal Psicha Chayim. If digging the boar, you're Chayim. Al Kriya, excuse me, on uncovering the boar, you're Chayim. Al Kriya, on digging it itself, La Kol if one dug it and the second guy continues, see Lake my service. The second guy sort of wipes out the first guy. That's what he means by Kiyich Reish Bor. It's a new Bor. The Rebbe or Melachon, Hanu Mitzvah Tzrichi Kedamina. Yesterday we learned that there's a special need for Yiftach and Yichre. For both of them. Rabbonon nami mitzrach tzrichi. El la hainu tamid Rabbonon. Amra kro. Ki ichre ish bor. Echad velo shnayim. Ish is a one person. So it's exerza kosov that two people are not chayiv. Only the second one is. How does Rabbi get rid of that? Al rabbi le ki ichre ish bor. Velo shor bor. Only a human being that digs a bor. Is there chiyuv for bor? If an animal does it, there's no payment. How does Rabbanon learn that? Because tre ish bor ksiv. It says kiyuv tach ish bor kiyichre ish bor. So from one, there's chiyuv bor for human and not a behemoth. The second one, that only one guy is chiyuv and not two. The Rebbe, what does Rebbe do with the double limud? It's stylistic. I dish a kosov, I kosov gam. It's a style. We might have a Who says that the last person should be chayv? Dilma lechayuve come up. Maybe the guy who dug the first nine should be chayv. Versus is low sakitayt. Domar krova meis yelo. Hahu de koavid le the rabba the guy who dug the killing board the amar rabba shor psulem ukdashim. You have a, a, a shore. That was Hegdish, that's now puzzle, because it has a mum. You can't be makravit, but you can't make it into cholim. Even after you redeem it, there's certain things you can't do to it. So the din is such an animal, Shanafal the poor potter. Why? Shanemra Vames Yelo, Bemisha Meshalo, completely his, and not owned partly by Hegdish. Amri. Don't we learn this out basically? Because we're talking about the guy who dug the boar to be a killing boar. One dug a boar 10. Another guy dug 20. I'll ask you a steer. The Kayat, he covered it inside with marble. Only the last guys. Lema Rabbi Varabon. Rebbe that says only one is Chayyot is Rebbe. And the, the one that says the Achron is the Rabbanon. Amazvin Hava Rabbanon. Adla Kami Rabbanon Achron Chaviv Elehei Chadulai Ovet Kama. The first guy never built a shear of 10. Lemisa, he only built nine. Aval Hechid Ovet Kama. Shear Misa, he did a shear Misa. I feel the Rabbanon Modu. Shakulan Chayovi. They would even the Chachamim, who normally only Machai, the last guy here, since they all dug at least a bore of ten, they're all Chayovi. 
But the case where the second guy put marble in, we said only he's chad, not the first guy. Tony Akron chad. Amri, Hasam Shalaya, Bo Hevel It was very wide, so it didn't create Hevel. By making it narrow with marble, he made it into a killing board. That's his shita. Hadik tani achron only chayiv is kigon shalaya bo hevel. Initially, lo lemisa v'lo lemizakim. Uba acher v'hoisit bo hevel ben lemisa ben lemizakim. Second guy created hevel that could kill and could cause death. Amar Rava, mishinich even al piyabo. There's not a depth of ten, but now that he put a stone on the top, he makes it deep. This is the same machlokas. So the Gemara says pshita. About the same. Uh, maybe only lamata. They have the dideka katan because it's the hevel of the boar. Have a lamalish lo yevle dideka katan. There's no extra hevel there. Ema ema kamash balon that only the achron is chayiv. So we have to kiddush rabbi v'chachamim argue there as well. Boy rava. There's a boar that's nine. And he dug another tefak, making it ten. And then stam tefak. And then he filled it up. So it's back to nine. Im silik avonav, he got rid of the stones. Mao, mi aminon, my da'avid shakle. That which he did, he took away. And you would not be chayv. O dilma, his first act goes away, but the Kamole Kula Bishuse. But now the second act puts it all in his Rishus. Take. We have no answer. The bottom of the boar is two of water. Chayev. My time, a Koltefach de Maya, Kitre, the Abashadami. Every Tefach of water is like two, dry. Yiboy luhu, bor tisha, umehen tefach echad mayim ba. Mi amrinon kivan, shalom nefishi mayim, there's not a lot of water. Less be hevla, maybe there's not enough hevla. Oy dilma kivan da amik tfei, it's ten to get together. It's be hevla, so maybe there is. We don't have an answer. Bor shiva. Do we say? Even the the fishy mayim tvei. You have a lot of water, so is be hevla. O dilma even shlo amka, but it's only seven tvachim deep. Let's be hevla. So all these questions take. Boy, me Rav Shizbi me Rabba. Yerchiva mau. You widen the opening of the board. You reduce the heaven. So you shouldn't be chai. Armele Rav Shizbi said to Mada Rabba, Hare, oh, why, by widening the mouth of the boar, Kira Vizeka, it's easier to fall in. Lam Ravashi, next day I know, we have to see. Ibe Hevla Mayas, if the person died from the heaven, Hare me at Hevla. By widening, he made less evil, so therefore he would not be chayv. If he died through the trauma of the ground, he made it easier to follow him. If he fell in from the side that he widened, so so he hastened his death. On the side where he didn't enlarge nafal, by widening it, he reduced Hevda. So, Itmar. Borsha Oimka Krochava. The width is the same as the depth. Rabbi of Yosef Tamar Tavai Mishmei to Rabbi Barkana, Amr Mishmei to Rabbi Mani. Chadam Aloylam Yeshba Hevel. Achi Rochava Yosra Alamuk. 
There's always Hevel unless the width is greater than the depth. Then there's no Hevel. Even if they're equal, there's Hevel. You got to have the depth greater than the width. But if they're equal, there's no heaven. Over love, a rishon v'lochi sol. The board of two partners. First guy passes by, doesn't cover it, and the second guy passes by and doesn't cover it. The sheni is chayiv. The rishon meim is mifter. The first guy's potter from when? Rabbi Rav Yisuf Tamar Tavayu Mishmedi Rabbi Bar Rakhanet Dami Mishmedi Rav Mani Chad Amar Mishem Amnichu Mishdamish. He left the boar so his friend could use it. The Chadam, and that's not enough. He has to give him over the pail to dip the water. So the Gemara says, Let's say the person is taking water out of the well. Friend comes by and says, Give me the bucket. So the first guy's potter, once he gave it. It's not just enough. He has to give him the bucket. <coughs> there is retroactive designation. After the Misa, we go back and say, it was set up like this in the beginning. Each one has a certain chalik in the water, in the board. Hi, Medida Kamamali, Bahai Medida Kamamali. Each one is filling up water from their share. So until he gives over the bucket to his friend, so he's not giving over the Achrayus. But Rabbon and Sari ain't brave. There is no retroactive designation. The moment the second person starts using the bore, even without the bucket, he has the Achrayus. Partners that make made a nether not to benefit from each other. Certainly, they each are a partner in a chatzar. Neither can go there because every time they go there, they're having enough from the other. Each goes into his own area. The my kamiflagi, the Yesh ben Yaakov Sofer Yesh Breira. We say the moment he goes into the chutzner, he retroactively designates that I'm going into my area. Highly enough, she I have highly enough. She each went into their own area. Rabban and Sofer ain't Breira. Okay, I'm going to stop here. Tomorrow, um, we'll learn at seven thirty. Okay. Shkoyah. Shkoyah. Good night.